before we get into the video, since so you guys have been supporting the channel so much, I want to hook you guys up with a free social template. Now, with this right here, you can make some cool socials on here and just put your name. Everything will be set up and the link will be in the description and the comment section. Once again, I want to say thanks for all the support on the channel. And I will be promising you guys videos on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and maybe Mondays. I'm just going to keep trying to push out videos. And if I don't upload, it's probably because of schoolwork and other stuff. But this is my social template that I use to make people socials. And now you guys have it for free. So thank me. And before I do get into the video, I want to say this is inspired by Refo Goaded because the original one he gave me, I just tuned it up and fixed a lot of stuff in it. So let's get straight into the video. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back on a YouTube video. And before we get into the video, I want to say thanks for all the support on the channel. But in today's video, what we're going to be making is what you see on the screen. So let's get straight into it. First thing you want to do is go to File and then go to New and pick 1280 by 720. Now the screenshot we're going to be using is going to come from this right here and I will put it in the description and I will put it in the comment section. So you guys can pick whatever screenshots you want, but these are the ones I'm going to be using from the pack. You'll see it when I actually open. So you want to go to file and open and once you have your screenshots, it should appear in download or wherever you put it. But like I said, I'm going to get the screenshots that I'm going to be using and I'll be back with you guys. Alright, so now that you see I have all the screenshots. First thing I'm going to do is go to the Dunkin' Screenshot. You can hit Control c on your keyboard. And then when you hit Control c you just want to come back over here, hit Control v And once you do this, you can make it smaller. Make sure you're on your move tool when you do want to make it smaller. And just follow what I do. Now, if you have an issue where this isn't popping up, um, make sure you have your show transform controls on. Because that could be a reason why that isn't happening. But we just want to make this smaller and put it just like this. All right, so next thing we're going to do is go to select and then subject. And this is going to cut this image out for us if you don't want to use the pen tool. Now, this doesn't work on everything because it's crashed your Photoshop sometimes. But if you want to fix the edges, what you would do is go to select and mags. And I just go to um, this tool right here when I do it and pick select and mags. And make sure you're on this tool. The brush one and i just make it smaller with the little brackets and go like this right here and make sure the edges are cut correctly so once we do that you can layer via copy with it or either control j and you just want to pick the erase tool and go around and fix the edges up all right so next thing we're going to do is get the background and we're going to go to hue and saturation which you can find right here and right, now we're going to do colorize and turn this to about the same color that I had on this thumbnail. So you just want to have something like this. You turn lightness down or up and just try to find the correct color that you want to use for the thumbnail. I feel like when I find it or when you guys find it, you can just use that color. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to file and then open. And I'm simply just going to go over here and get my, my playlist style. And you can just copy this like so. And then come over here and paste it on my player. I will put that in the description and the comment section also. So if you want to get the same color as the black background, which I do recommend, go to blend options like I just did. And then you want to pick the color of the background like so. We do inner glow and outer glow. And make sure it's on linear dodging. Everything should be with that though. So next thing we're going to do is do the select and subject for both of these screenshots. Like so. We're just going to go over here, select, then subject and let it do its work and then you want to layer via copy because the shooting screenshot actually comes out very well so you don't have to cut out the edges unless you really want to so this spot right here we can zoom in on by holding control and the plus symbol and then obviously it's the opposite to zoom out but you hit E on your keyboard go to the erase tool and you can just make it as large as you want to whatever and I just brush it like this right here to get those little spots out I need not, if you need my brush settings, they are right here. So you hit Control C on this, and go back over and hit Control V. So we're gonna skip forward in the video, you can, but I'm gonna just enlarge this right like so, and have it somewhat like this. And you can go back and look at this if you actually want the most accurate version. I'm gonna copy this layer style and then paste the layer style on here. All right, so once we do this, obviously we're gonna do next screenshot. Move this over some. We'll keep it right here. Just move this screenshot over. So 
we can exit this out now since we don't need it and now we'll go over here and do select and subject also so we have this i would just layer via copy unless you want to go inside and do the select and match like i taught you so if you do do that you just go in here and get that back in and then you can do layer via copy and then control c go back over here hit control v and make it smaller and you guys can do like this and fix the edges with your race tool which is what i'm about to do all right so once i do the edges i just paste a, a layer style and if you want to how to copy it you just right click on this copy layer style and then simply paste it on here and if you ever want to clear the layer style you can just click click clear layer style and put it back on when you paste it so if you want to put this below the character which i didn't do or above the character it is up to you now as you can see in this screenshot i made the duncan player a lot smaller so if you want to do that you can simply hold control and then pick both of them and then make it this small but it is up to you so i will put it like this and then maybe make the screenshot a little bit bigger and you should have something like this so next thing i'm gonna do is go to where you find hue and saturation but i'm kind of gonna pick vibrance turn the vibrance and turn the saturation up so you can give like a better looking effect now if you want to clear out the ringers uh jersey logo what you would do is go to the poly gonio <laughs> lasso too i probably said that wrong but you simply just want to go around it like this right here and we get to the end you can hit the backspace and the um now nah, shift and the backspace key and do content aware and you can take off the logo like that that's if you want to take off the logo so i'm just showing you guys so next thing i'm going to do is put the 2k21 logo behind them so i'm just go to my pack psycho pack uh, 2k21 logos and do this and if you guys need a video on how to put the pack on your pc let me know in the comment section we want to make this bigger and just simply put this behind the characters and kind of have it somewhere like that all right so we can go back and look at the thumbnail and look at the similarities and we can see something like this right here so it is very similar to the other one if you want to make this a little bit smaller you can and i'm gonna just do some more shaping up with my eraser tool all right so now we're gonna go to file again and open and i'm gonna go to attributes and i'm gonna get this my player potential panel right here or with the finishing stuff so you want to put this behind like this and we can just put it somewhere in this area like we had on last thumbnail and basically you just want to paste the layer style because you should already have it if you don't know how to get the layer style what you do is just go on one you already have copy it and then paste it now for the 2k21 logo i do like to add a little bit more drop shadow but it is the only thing i do to it so i go to blend the options drop shadow add a little bit more and just lower the opacity like so so now that we're almost done with the thumbnail you can go back and look at this just to look at the similarity it's not going to be exactly the same but the next thing i do is select pixels and go to curves and then i up the curves a little bit on both of these so i'm gonna go to this one also and select pixels and up the curves and go to the middle well actually the middle screenshot is okay so now that i did all this right here we can go back and look and see I just looking and everything is looking pretty good if you want to mess with this right here you can up the lightness or lower the lightness i think i'm gonna keep it like that but the next thing i do is go to human saturation um colorize and i put a clipping mask and i actually turn it to this color and i up the saturation and try to get like the color of the background if not get the color of the background so now i click on this go to invert and once I do this, I get the color white and you can kind of just make a glow effect. Now I did learn this from my boy GB3. So if you want to learn a few tips from designer, go and check out his channel also. But that is how I do like a little glow effect. And if you want to take it off, you can simply just switch the color to black and tap on it to make it come off like that. I'm not really good with it yet, but I know some people that know how to do stuff like that, they probably are really good with it, but just get it to where you want it to be. All right, so I did end up doing the effect to all of the screenshots. But now that I did this, we're basically almost done with the thumbnail. If you want to make the 2K21 logo a little bit bigger, you can. But it is pretty much it for the thumbnail. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually make it pop out like this right here. 
So what you want to do when you're done is merge visible on this. And then you want to go to Magic Bullet Looks. If you don't have this, look up how to get it on YouTube. And if you can't find a video or you think safe is watching, just hit me up on Twitter. So with my Magic Bullet Looks for this, I usually put my pop on 47 when I do thumbnails like this. And you can mess with your diffusion and all of that stuff. But the pop is mostly what I figured out to mess with. Or you can make it even higher. I'm going to pick probably like, yeah, 40 in the 40s. And my diffusion... One thing when I did that thumbnail, I had it on 122. That's when I used that. But just have the settings like this right here. And you want to hit finish. So once you finish, you will have something like this. But now I go on Topaz Labs. And what I do is I put it on mild details. Now mild details, I don't really change anything up. And I apply it. So once you do this, you can go to Camera Raw Filter. You can up the saturation and up the vibrance. And I think for this thumbnail, I mess with the clarity a lot on this. And I probably have my pop a lot higher. But I know for a fact, I did put my green on 13. And I mess with the contrast and the blacks and all of that stuff. So you guys can just find the one you think is right. Mess with the dehaze. Um, some of the highlights and all of this. And have something like that. If you go back and compare the thumbnails, you can see they're very different. But this is the same concept of what I did on my last thumbnail. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And if you really want to be exactly like that, I would recommend adding more pop because I know that is what I did. If you guys enjoyed the um, tutorial, recommend the video to your friends if they want to learn how to do designs on 2K. Well, other than that, peace out.